Meow. 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 Oh, sorry. Still in the habit after everything that happened. After that second time, things were hella cursed. And, uh... After the Meow Meow Man incident with Ida, I don't know if I can look at him the same way. I mean, he was riding on my back. That's definitely not what's normal. I mean, you don't ride on the back of your partner, right? Anyways, how are you, kitty? I think things have been kind of crazy around here. Yeah, I mean, all I wanted to do was take you on a date in light of all this. I hope you can forgive me, but training's been tough. I got blindsided by that guy the second time around. First time, I, well, we won't talk about that. Sorry if I dropped too many F-bombs there. Every now and then. I guess you just have to kick back and relax, don't you? I feel like that was it. But today, I want to catch up. Make it more about me and you, kitty. I've been really thinking about you. Lately, I... I've not been too sure where I'm going with all this. Between the training, who's really the good guys, who's really the bad guys, the hell if I know. And it gets kind of, kind of difficult. Because I think, by the end of it, what if I don't know which side I'm on? I kind of want to help them. I mean, I will, but... Did you hear? Aizawa-sensei. He's back on our side, sort of. That's the purveying story. If there is even an our side. Sorry. I don't mean to sound like a downer or anything. It's just in light of everything, I... I don't feel I've been exactly hero material. I've had to do a lot of things I'm not too proud of. Nothing criminal, but doesn't mean that I'm proud of having to compromise on my beliefs. That's what made me question this in the first place. When you almost got hurt, my heart, I thought I was going to stop. And I get it. You want everything to be okay, and so do I. Don't worry. My injuries, they're nothing. I can still move around just fine, and why are you insisting on that? I, well, if it's the doctor's orders... I guess I have to listen to them, don't I, Kitty? Or is it Dr. Kitty now? You know, the more I look into your eyes, the more I want to disobey that rule just to give you a kiss. <laughs> I'm not gonna disobey my doctor that easy. Maybe this time you'll take good care of me Unlike those other doctors. <laughs> Kitty. I... I want you. I need you. Now get your ass out of here. And go do what you said you were gonna do. <laughs> that was fast. You just like make soup. Out of... Thin air. You got a second quirk for that? Gonna show me it in person. <laughs> I'll complain and not by a long shot. I get sweet soup out of the deal. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, definitely. 
My idea of a good time while recovering. <coughs> I'm fine. It's nothing. <laughs> you think a cough's gonna beat me? If that were the case, I would have lost a long time ago. You haven't been harassed by anyone lately, have you? That's right. Where we go, let's go together. Even if I'm your patient, I'm not letting anyone have my doctor. Even if they try anything. Well, I'd like to see them try and talk some bullshit. Because I'd just go and, well, make them walk off. Maybe they'd even forget about it. At this point, my quirk's been just a bit better lately. I think it's because of you. No, listen, hear me out. Whenever we're together, you force, force me to think about things. To really question who I am. What I really stand for. What I'm going to do with my life and, and just... Just relax and talk it through. And after all that, all I can say is these new outlooks, I think they've made it work. They made the pieces click where I didn't think they could. They made me realize maybe I've been handling this whole quirk thing the wrong way. I'm just happy you accept me. With more power comes more fear. People think I'm going to take control of them. You know, I get it. If it was a villainous personality, hell if it was me who never met you, maybe that'd be the me that they see. The real me. But as it stands right now, I'm not going to hurt anyone. I, I don't like hurting people. I feel like it just hurts me. I feel like whenever I do, I regret it. Those pangs in my heart, they tell me I'm wrong. And honestly, Kitty, you're probably my best moral compass. Because you've got a good heart. Even if you don't believe it. Even if you don't realize it yet. I sure as hell know how easy it is to demonize yourself. And it sucks ass when you do. Because you just end up in this uncomfortable situation where you're making jokes about it. You laugh at it because you're not sure how to face it. You make excuses. You know why I know? Because I was there too. But I'm still proud of you nonetheless. You've gone so far. Even despite it all. You've not exactly had a walk in the park life, you know. And I'm super proud of all the progress you've made. Even if it doesn't seem like much to you. I swear to you it is. You know... Maybe I talk too much, or not enough. Sometimes I worry that I'm boring you, Kenny, when there's so many more uh, expressive people out there. I'm no good with it, but I try. I do my absolute best, and I... Then it means something to you. Then can I ask Kitty... Would you like a hug? I'm, I'm glad you'd like one. Because I really needed one. Some subjects just... They're difficult to talk about, you know? You just think of yourself as some kind of... Nasty person. And I know it's not true. I know I've done the best with what I got. 
it's not always easy to convince my heart that way. It's my hope I can convince you that you're not bad. Then maybe together we can have a good day after all. <clears throat> no coughs here. It was just uh... a... <coughs> Excuse me. I told you I'm fine. It... <clears throat> well, I'm more fine with you snuggling close like this. I'm never going to say no to it. Maybe it's childish of me. I didn't get very much cuddles as a kid. I didn't get very much anything, and I start to fear touching others, and it feels good to have a warm embrace with someone who doesn't, doesn't mind that I'm scared, that I'm not sure what I'm doing or where I'm going in life. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what we were meant to do. Just wander together. Be wanderers. Go through life doing whatever we can. And being happy despite it all. That's what I want to be. I don't just want to be some kind of person who, I don't know, fails at something and accepts it. I kind of just want to wander with you until we find where we're most happy. But I think it will always be in each other's arms. You know, I don't even care where we are. I'd like to avoid us being homeless, though. Not that we'll have to worry. I'm pretty cemented in to the pro-hero thing. Since they're afraid of me. Guess that's one good thing that came of a bad one. They're afraid that if I turn coat, I'll be too dangerous. And so they treat me a little nicer at face value. Even if they don't mean it beyond that. Besides, I've got you and Coda. Here, boy. Aw, oh, he went in with the hug. There, there. We could all have a hug together. We're a family, aren't we? Closest thing to one I've ever had. At least one that I wanted. Instead of one that tries to... No. I don't even want to think about it. And sometimes I think that might be the best way. Just face the past as it can't hurt you anymore. All the bad that came of it. It can't haunt you any more than ghosts in a house. You can leave it behind. It's not easy, but we can do it together. Scars fade over time, even if they never fully go away. And I believe in you, Kitty. I believe in you so much mere thought of you not believing in yourself. I want to take it away. I want to steal it away. So why don't you answer my question? Do you want me to? I thought I'd try using my quirk in a new way. I thought I'd try something more ambitious than before. And that's why I'll try and help you fight it. I'm gonna try and leave
leave a piece of my soul there to fight the nightmares. A little me I can be with you when you're scared. I can save the day. You can say no. It's okay. It's not like my normal quirk. But I think I can do it. You sure? On the bright side. That way. When you feel at your lowest. When the PTSD. Or bad things try and get to you. I'll appear. Even in the worst of nightmares. Wherever and whenever I can. And I'll face them. Together with you. We'll defeat them. Even if it takes us a long time. Even if we want to give up sometimes. Even if it's really tough or sad. It's gonna be okay. I know what you've been told. I know what those people say. But they don't know you like I know you. They think they do. They make assumptions. They tell you all these nasty things. And I know some of them wear the guise of family. But they don't own you. They're not who you are. Not at all. And I happen to very much love who you are. Even your quirks. And I don't mean your power. Who you are. Those personality traits that separate you from the others. The ones that make you more unique. I don't give a damn what anyone else says. Because I know you. You're mine. You're my kitty. Not theirs. And of course... I... I do get jealous sometimes. How much weight you give them. Just because you're related by blood, or you think that they're your friend, it doesn't mean that they know you better. It just means that they're using that. Sometimes people can be cruel, but it doesn't mean that everyone is. Have I ever been cruel to you, Kitty? Have I ever made you feel sad? You can be honest. If I did, I accept that, and I'll try and make up for it. But I refuse to let you be alone. That's why I used my quirk that way, and I'm proud of it. Everything's gonna be okay. Trust me, Kitty. I wouldn't let you down. And besides, I still have a lot of the day to enjoy ourselves and have a wonderful rest of our night. Maybe it's short, sweet, and to the point. I'm not about to give you up. I'm not about to let you think you're not worth it. Because you are to me. And I'm the one who wants to spend every single day with you. I'm the one that wants to be the man of your dreams, who doesn't let anyone outdo him. I might not be one for competition, but I don't like losing when it means they make you happier. No. Believe it or not, Kitty, I get jealous. And when I get jealous, I get possessive. I get possessive and I want more. More of my kitty. I want to leave a mark. Because you're my kitty. And no one else can have you. Not now. Not ever. Kitty. I 
I've always loved you. You've never been like anyone else to me. You're one of a kind. And I don't want anyone else to even look at you. Let alone get near you. So if I ever get snappy with others, it's just because I'm jealous. I'm angry that they... They get to spend time with you too. But it's okay. I know sometimes I get carried away. There's always a balance. An important balance to keep. You might be my kitty. But having a friend or something, that's fine. But if I hear, if I find out that they've mistreated you, then they better watch themselves. Because they won't get a second chance. Even if you forgive them. If someone hurts my kitty. I don't think I can. They're. They're terrible. Those who'd be willing to do it. But I don't want to get angry. So why don't we go cook a meal together? I'm feeling a little better, and I'm kind of sick of sitting in bed right now. Sound good? I know there was the soup. It's pretty good. But I guess I want something more... more filling. You know how soup leaves you with that emptiness? I kind of want to cook... takoyaki. <laughs> Because it's fun. Why else would you make it? If it's just the right amount, you can make it a really nice appetizer. I don't really want a full meal. <laughs> if I did, I bet you'd make it for me, though. Nonsense. You're a seriously good cook. In my opinion. Yeah, so you've burned some things. That doesn't matter. <laughs> I've burned some things too. Bridges, people. Oh, sorry. Wasn't supposed to say that one. Not intentionally, mind you. I just thought it'd make me look cool if I said that. Come on. You gotta admit you like bad boys sometimes. And I guess I could do some more bad. Hmm. It depends. I wonder. You think you could... make some of your specialty? I'll handle the takoyaki. And you handle that. And we'll make it together. Trust me. You may not think it's anything regal or over the top, but that's exactly the draw. It's nothing beyond the means of what we got, but it's still got a lot of heart in it, you know? And I like that about it. Makes me happy, because it's something from you. Believe it or not, I'm not very materialistic, Kitty. All I want is your love and things from you. I couldn't really ask for more than that. Because if it's my kitty, there's nothing, and I mean nothing, I wouldn't do. Though today, kitty, my energy after this might be a little spent. Depends. We'll have to see once we get there. Though I didn't expect my kitty to be thinking on those lines. I'm impressed. Now, let's make some tasty food. Mm, get that. Like that. And into that. Roll it, roll it. 
perfect. <laughs> I'm confident in my takoyaki making. You just gotta find that perfect balance. Cooking it fine one way. Making sure it's not overdone. <laughs> Must sound cheesy as hell here. But it's kind of like life. Taking things at your own pace, finding your own way of doing things. It's always a lot more fun that way, isn't it? Sure, I don't mind if you're always following me or something like that. But isn't it fun sometimes to have your words, your actions count for something? And another perfect one. Hmm. <laughs> I can smell your special. Smelling good over there. No. I can't decide. If I like the smell of the cook. Or the meal more. <laughs> meow. I don't know if it counts as thirsting. If I'm just hungry. For some love. <laughs> don't worry about that, kitty. Why don't we just finish making this and maybe enjoy our meal? Did you hear about what happened to some kind of act of explosion? Likely terrorism at the museum. Wonder who's responsible. Must have been some sick, deranged guy. A villain among villains, right? But a coward, too. Well, I guess, uh, we'll never know. Then again, who cares? I don't really mind that stuff. I should be railing from the Eda thing. Why in the heck... Was Tanya Ida riding on my back, calling me Catman? That's what I remember when I came to. I mean, poor guy seemed kind of confused too. I'm not really sure what to make of it. Anyways, my horribly mental scar, a uh, tragic past aside, looks like dinner's ready. Alright, let's get some meal on. That's what I'm talking about. Hot though. <coughs> well, I didn't say I was perfectly recovered or anything like that. I'm not gonna lie to you, kitty. I feel a lot better than when I started, though. Guess whose fault that is. <laughs> Thanks to a certain kitty right there, looking cute as hell. Oh yeah, that special meal, definitely worth the wait. <clears throat> nah, <laughs> maybe my eyes are bigger than my tummy. A few takoyaki and bites of your special and I'm... I'm hungry for something else. No, not that kind of hungry. <laughs> Come on, kitty. <laughs> Actually, <clears throat> thanks. You caught me. Damn. Guess my body is trying to tell me something. More rest. You must rest. Noble cat man, that's what I hear. Isn't it fancy? I could hear voices in my head, right? No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> but I can tell, <laughs> even without thinking about it, that's what it's saying. Hey, don't get any bright ideas now. I mean, I may just be the amazing cat man, but... Kitty. <laughs> well, 
look at you. I can already tell with that smile you're going to be up to no good. Don't let me stop you, though. <laughs> yeah, I love you. What about a kitty? You going to fight me on it? <laughs> look at that. Some friendly competition, is it? Sounds good to me. What's the name of the game? <laughs> Why doesn't that ever surprise me? When you make some kind of crazy game out of things. Honestly, it just makes me more excited. <sighs> <coughs> I'm just fine, kitty. A little cough can't deter my desire for you. Sorry, not sorry. Besides, kitty, you owe me one, don't you? I heard about it yesterday. You were laughing at the cat, man. Well, maybe. You can do something to make up for it right now. <laughs> Here. Why don't you? You want to make me happy? Then come over here. Get under these blankies. And give me a cuddle. That's not asking for too much, is it? I mean, come on. It's practically the best feeling ever. That is for you too, isn't it? Sweet cuddles. Sweet words. <laughs> Maybe teasing words, too. <laughs> Don't worry, kitty. I never tease you. Right. Just the right amount of teasing. Of making you feel shy. Feel small. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And then there you go, kitty. Uh, to think you'd be so crazy when I'm sick. <laughs> I really... I get it now. Why I fell in love with you so much. Yes, I could have only fallen in love with someone... No, not someone like you. With just you. In truth, Kitty, I don't think there's anyone like you. You think there's anyone like me? <laughs> then I'm glad. Because that's all that matters. I don't care what others are doing. As long as to me, to you, we're the only one of each other. That the other ever needs. That the other one could ever want. That's... That's all that matters, Kitty. Cuddles, love... Everything else. <laughs> it all comes with time. And well... Maybe I'm sick right now. I'll be just fine, cause your love... And how much you've taken care of me, Kitty... You'll never understand... How much I appreciate this, but I'll be damned if I don't show it. I'll be damned if I don't make you feel special every single time I can. Making you feel special is the most important thing to me. Yeah, sure. Maybe some people are all about that physical stuff, but it just adds to it. Cuddles, kisses. The whole shebang. That's what I'm about. As well as soft words from the heart. Solving those bad times and turning them into something good. Making life a joy instead of a pain. There's enough things that hurt, Kitty. And I want to give you enough things that don't. To make you forget about those things that pain you. You don't have to be beat around the bush, Kitty. I know you struggle sometimes. 
Hell, who doesn't? If someone says they're not struggling, they're either not human or they're lying. And sure, maybe that's judgmental, but who doesn't go through sad times? It's like looking in a mirror and saying you don't see yourself. But I get it. There's times when that happens. When the outside and inside doesn't match. That's not what I meant. I meant it's like looking at the mirror and you see your perfect self back at you. The one you want to see. And then saying it's not you. Wouldn't that just be sad? After you're yourself. After there's no more shades or mimics. It's just you. As you've always known you were. Then... And only then I feel like it's just like that mirror. You gotta accept it. But if there's something you don't like, you can always change it. I think the problem happens when people, they don't want to be themselves. Kitty, never change who you are deep down. Because people will try and change you. Tell you you're wrong for what you believe in. You're wrong for how you look at yourself. You're wrong for how you dress or something like that. And honestly, they don't know a damn thing. I don't want you to listen to even one of them. Because they're hateful, abusive people. And I know. And I know there's going to be people you disagree with who aren't always all bad. Sometimes it's just someone's viewpoint. What am I going on about, Kitty? I know there's those bad people. But I want that mirror to show the you you've always wanted to be. The you that you can be. Just like I want to look in the mirror and see just the me I've always wanted to. I will do that. That's a promise. Not when I know how to go back on either. Hell, I'm a terrible liar in the first place. No matter what I'm supposed to be lying, it just never comes out. That's why I prefer to avoid them too. No kidding. You'll never understand. Just how much this means to me. Us cuddling here. Me hearing your heartbeat. Feeling your warmth. It just... It makes all the difference in my life. I want you to feel the same warmth. The same happiness. The same wonderful feelings you give me. Have I ever done that, Kitty? Inspired one of those feelings for you? I sure hope so. It's my dream, you know. To make you just as happy as... as you make me. Because I... I go back and forth with myself. One moment I... I'm proud the next moment I'm not, and I just, I want more of a balance. And you calm the storm in my heart. You make all of those raging, terrible storms die down. You're like the eye of the storm, calming it wherever you go. It's like the storm was never there to begin with. Only you don't go back into it. You don't make things turbulent again. So I guess you're more like a place where storms can't exist. More like a place where dreams, my dreams, have a chance of coming true. What say we? 
I actually work towards it. The dreams we've always had. Let's make them real. And do something about it. I think that's the only way we'll live without regrets, you know. Live and be ourselves. Let the world think what they want. If they judge us, then let them. Because they're not us. They'll never understand. But we understand each other, don't we, Kitty? That's what makes us so strong. Even if individually, we have so many problems or sadness, we make it go away. Because we fight against those feelings hand in hand. We love without limits. And we make our future our own dreams. Not escaping, not burying our head in the sands, but making our dreams real. Each baby step after the next. Thank you, Kitty. <laughs> I love you. And I feel like I'm getting a lot better. It's all thanks to you. That gorgeous smile of yours. You know I wouldn't trade it for anything, right? You know I'd definitely fight even Coda for that smile. And that's saying something. Hell, I'd even fight Baku Duck. Oh right, a duck named Bakugo. That was his name. That rumored pro hero above rank one. Well, I'd definitely kick his butt. If it meant I got more time with my kitty. I love you, kitty. And I'll never take those words back for as long as I live.